Okay, um, as you can see, this is something um, that was involved actually quite a, a few of us, um, friend, friends and colleagues from uh, public health. Um, so, um, it's, uh, although I'm presenting it, um, it really is largely where I mean, me and Nick were involved in the early, particularly in the early uh, development of it and the pilot of it and towards the end of the report writing, but other people take the credit for the excellent um, research was done, uh, that was done. So I hope we can at least um, kind of capture a, a little bit um, about that, um, the quality of the work that was done. So if there's any fault in the presentation, it's all mine and not theirs. Um, yeah, so what is monkey? I hear you all uh, screaming. Well, well, as you can see, um, it's a kind of uh, novel uh, little um, idea that um, has been developed in uh, collaboration with the um, NHS Institute for Innovation and Improvement. And their main remit is the rapid dissemination of um, research for best practice, and in particular the concern with the quality of services, um, NHS um, services, and their cost effectiveness. So they're, they're concerned with those uh, two uh, key things. Uh, this um, pack involved um, a lot of really fun and, and novel ideas. Um, for example, there's a DVD um, in it um, that has a, 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 a song, a reggae song, um, that talks all about the NHS uh, services and how to use them. Uh, there's uh, something called the NHS Explorers going into different uh, community services, talking to doctors, pharmacists, and uh, all the rest of it. There's things like scenario cards in there where they match kind of ill um, conditions or incidents with uh, responses. So, for example, uh, monkeys um, broken a fingernail, where should he go? Uh, monkeys had an overdose, where should he go? That, that last one wasn't in there actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think it should have been in there. And I'll feed that back to the developers. Um, exactly some schools could, uh, could benefit from, from that, oh, seriously, could benefit from that kind of um, information. Um, so, one of the, the main concerns or main uh, pathways of the NHS Institute for Innovation and blah 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 um, is children and young uh, people as urgent um, care and emergency services users. And as we're all of we're all aware there have been some huge, massive changes in the last 20 years in the way that healthcare is delivered and administered. And it, it's, it's not obvious, you know, what people should do um, when they become ill. And it's doubly uh, the case with children and young people who in fact are among, the, in fact they are, apart from 65 plus um, people, uh, children and young uh, people use accident and emergency more than any other um, service users and it's very often um, an inappropriate use of those services. So with consumerism and choice in the NHS comes um, a lot of complications and A&E is where a lot of that is focused as it becomes the preferred choice of people who experience things like broken fingernails. It's, um, and it, of course one of the other main drivers unsurprisingly is this kind of cost effectiveness bit and if you look at the figures then it becomes quite obvious that what where the, the potential uh, for saving money so an ambulance call out is extortionately expensive especially if you compare it to you know just um, going online and getting a bit of support that way or, or, uh, or making, making a phone call and it's been estimated that uh, a 25 percent reduction in in the five main causes of A&E um, um, attend events would lead to 180 million pound uh, saving. So, so there's a huge incentive uh, to um, this initiative, which is part of the whole package of how can we uh, make better use of the services that um, uh, that are provided for children and young people and, and everyone. So, uh, essentially, money money is the bottom line. Uh, I think it is what, that's not what they said when they asked us to do this, but you know, it's quite clear that that is the case. But one thing we wanted to be very careful about is we didn't want, want to get into kind of blaming 
children, young people, or anyone else uh, for, that, uh, for that matter, um, because it is a systemic problem. You know, it's um, a complicated system, um, and historically, um, children and young people have not been well served um, by the services uh, that we provide. And this particular statement um, establishes that. It was a joint statement by the Royal College of Practitioners and nurses and paediatricians and just about every other um, royal college that exists. Um, so, um, really, uh, just a little bit, so what, how, how were these uh, materials developed? Well, there was a precedent and there was a, a small uh, lesson plan developed for secondary uh, school children that was quite, um, was published and was quite successful. And Kath Evans, the Evans there, was involved in the development um, uh, with Helen Sadler, who kind of created these resources as a result of a personal experience where her uh, daughter uh, became seriously unwell and the difficulties that they had navigating the, the services and the difficulties that, that she's had communicating to her daughter what's going on around her. So th there's, a, there's a real passion within these uh, resources and there's a real funness to these resources which more than anything else does come out uh, in the evaluation um, that we did. There was a, a pilot and testing, that's a bit grandiose, it was very, very much of, okay, a phone call from Nick, I think it was, uh, the day before, um, Daz, Daz, do you want to um, come, come down, to, go down to uh, somewhere, Kent or somewhere, and because what they were doing, they had a, um, uh, something, that, a product that they wanted to pilot, and the pilot of them uh, literally descended on five, six schools, in, mostly in the southeast, and Nick and I uh, kind of tagged on and did kind of some observational uh, data gathering, uh, talking uh, to the teachers, talking to the kids, and, and getting some idea of how the uh, materials were, were working. Um, and there was, as a result of that, there was some kind of refinement of the materials, and then it was extended out, and um, last year uh, kind of went national, uh, which is where this, uh, this work comes in. Um, the, the aims, of the resources, well, yeah, I suppose they're pretty obvious, uh, you know, teaching kids about staying um, healthy and fit and how to, to use uh, various um, emergency services. The second two, uh, where you can see the, the, the pause of the NHS Institute for Innovation and whatever, um, the pair, you can see their pause on there, where they, uh, they're interested um, in about in, for example, the feed, um, enabling children to feedback regarding the services that they get uh, in the community and interested um, so certain children also share information about local, yeah, about kind of extending this information to families because obviously it's going to be much more effective if um, the stuff that the kids are learning is actually being taken home, talked about at home. And, um, and that's much more likely to inform the decisions that they make. Um, there's a little bit um, about the pilot. Like I say, the, the, the pilot is pretty much just on the hoof, or is it off the hoof? On, off the cuff, on the hoof. Um, <laughs> and so literally it was just me and Nick sitting there. We developed a couple of posters, we talked to the teachers, and it, it was extremely positive feedback and that, that was evident in terms of the, the engagement, the level of engagement that was going on in the stuff that we and then we asked the kids some very simple questions, they were writing on big posters, we wanted to know one thing that they'd learned, one thing that uh, they would tell a friend, one thing that they liked and again it, it mostly revolved about the monkey, the monkey character um, who in this case I think monkey, I think that's it's monkey having a baby there. I, I remember sitting in one class where the kid just set it up so that Monkey was in the corner having a baby. Um, I'm not sure that was part of the, um, the, the expectation or remit of the, of the sources, but the kids were very, very creative in their use of the resources, which um, became quite obvious as one of the strengths of the resources. And, so, and the kids' feedback pretty much affirmed that um, I think this stood out, you know, they, they, they loved the. Um, the the song and singing and dancing to the song um, 
And there's little anecdotal stuff, like one kid, there was a bit a teacher or a bit of film about the use of an EpiPen, and just so happened one of the kids in the class used an EpiPen, uh, which I'm still not sure what it is, so don't ask me. But it, he, he, that was his first opportunity to say to his class, I've got one of them. And it opened up a discussion um, around that particular issue. So it was, it was a very effective uh, tool uh, in that particular anecdotal, but you could see how it, how it was working. Oh, five minutes. <laughs> oh, uh, right. Okay. Um, yeah, the national, the, the, so the evaluation aims, so, oh, sorry, I didn't realize that was the one. Uh, were pretty much the, the aims, they're a bit more complicated and fancier than that, but just repeating the aims of the actual, it was just those testing whether the, um, the materials did what they, uh, what they said on the tin, um, if, if you like. And, but clearly, you probably see it coming, if, um, the, the last two were, were things that we knew that we were going to struggle to actually um, to evidence um, meaningfully. Um, might come that. Um, so it was essentially we, we so we knew that the, the work that the materials were good that they worked when they were in the hands of well prepared teachers because that's what we um, what we uh, witnessed. But what we didn't know was anything about the, the reality of it because we know that in classrooms teachers are mad busy and all they want to do is just have something quick, quick and dirty, and um, so we, we wanted, if anything, above all things, to capture the reality. What was teachers actually doing, um, rather than just some opinions about the, the materials, if you like. So it was about uh, involved case studies, um, which included teacher um, interviews and children feedback and an electronic survey. Um, now this, this is where it goes, it starts to look um, not very meaningful. As you can see, the figures are, are not particularly good, we approached 200 schools, five of them. Um, got, we, wanted, we, we didn't want to um, pester them, uh, if you like, because it, it needed to come for, um, come for them, but they were sent several emails. 200 schools, five of them responded, which led to three proper case studies and some telephone um, interviews as well. And the electronic sur survey as well was equally, I and mean, this is the problem compared to the turnaround project, for example, um, when it goes national and you become increasingly distanced from the, uh, I'm, I'm never going to make time here, um, and participation became, so even though we have, if you like, enough people to make sense of the, of meaningfully of the data, it's got to be within the context of something like a 0.5% uh, response rate, so you've got to be really careful about the kind of generalizations that you're uh, going to uh, make about that. Um, Yeah, well, one thing is, I mean, we, that sort of a part of the online survey was that, that, that it was clear that um, the teachers thought that, that, that there was a great need for the resources, and you see the quote there, um, having ex two minutes, <laughs> having experienced a pack daily, that the, it, we, it, it's obvious there is, a, there is a need for something to solve the, prop, the end problem, um, and this, if you like, is, is the time. And the teachers got that, so they, they were on board, if you like, in terms of the... Um, and they were also on board with the um, the usefulness um, of the of the resources. Seventy five percent of the feedback from the seventy of uh, people in the online survey were saying that the materials were excellent or very good. Um, there were some issues. But there was some a little bit, the monkey song. It's not very good at, um, for people who have lower abilities. Very <coughs> worthy. Um, one there were very few criticisms, but one of the Strange ones. One of the feedbacks was that they felt that Monkey was actually racist, which was a bit, a bit of a shock. I mean, I kind of knew what they were getting at, um, but tragic that we've reached a point in this world that you know a, a, a cuddly little monkey would be regarded as a, a kind of race kind of icon. Uh, but that was just the one. Um, in terms of the adaptive. <laughs> adaptability. Why don't I just go? Okay, it was very adaptable, good for being uh, done across the curriculum or just a one off um, events in schools. Um, the, 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 
it was yeah, um, it had definite impact. The, the, the numbers, the one of those who just didn't, they, they're the ones who disagreed. So every, the parents uh, felt, um, the teachers felt the parents were more, more informed, the uh, pupils were more confident, and, the, and, and only two people um, f um, felt that the children weren't learning more about the um, NHS. So in terms of the, the knowledge, it was, it was very effective. Um, the case studies again and um, in the report and there is a there is a link that you can use so there's some excellent examples of what the teachers were doing again right on special events including the school nurses making them the focus of um, the, the teaching for a week in the school and um and all kinds of useful strategies that they were using um and there was a massive demand as well. They were inundated with additional materials, which were very from all over, from local authorities, from independent organisations, that show that there is kind of scope for taking this beyond the schools, if you like, to return to that systemic um, systemic issue. Um, suggestions for improvement. I mean, mostly the issues around improvement were about the younger and older age groups. For the younger kids, it was too complicated. For the older kids, it was too simplistic and not cool uh, for, the, for, the, for the older kids. Uh, conclusions. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it was, the, the great thing about the material is it's a lot of fun. The kids get right into it. It does what it says on the tin in terms of an educational tool. There's a lot of learning. And certainly the evidence suggests that it can be used to develop a learning community. It can. There was a fair bit of anecdotal evidence, um, but nothing systematic. Um, that um, suggests that the kids were taking it into the playground, talk about it, were taking it home and, and talking to the kids um, about it. What we certainly didn't get is it any any sense of it going into the uh, the services themselves and changing things there. But that, in a sense, is beyond what we were able to do. Uh, we did have initial plans for a more longitudinal um, approach, but because of the poor participation. Um, the struggles we had getting people on board um, it kind of all got squeezed and time was an issue. It would be nice again to go back to the previous studies, have that longer tune of you, maybe after summer getting some feedback from the kids or approaching parents and that kind of thing and saying, has it, um, what, did you break a leg over the summer, what did you do kind of thing. So anyway, that's me.